Hi, I'm Chef Ange. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. On today's episode, I wanna show you a really awesome wings recipe. This is lemon pepper wet wings. So lemon pepper wet is a really awesome wing flavor. It combines lemon pepper flavor profile with the traditional buffalo all mixed together. It's unbelievable. I'll even show you how to make my blue cheese ranchy dip in sauce. And this one's gonna be a little on the healthier side because wings traditionally aren't so healthy. So let's make a little bit of a lighter sauce without losing any of that flavor. Uh, before we get into the recipe, check the description box below for the full ingredient list and directions. And while we're down there, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can find out when I drop new recipe and tip videos every week. Let's get cooking. One of the best parts about cooking stuff at home is saving a few bucks. And with chicken wings, buy the full wing and then trim them down. And all you gotta do is bend each joint in the opposite direction, put a little slice in there. And once you can see in between the joint, you just keep bending it until you can get the knife right in between the two bones. And you can see that once you get the hang of it, you can do it pretty quickly and it's not gonna take you long to run through a couple packs of chicken. So now, moisture is the enemy of getting anything crispy, so let's get some paper towel in there and take off as much moisture as we can. And now, let's season the wings, because wings are really seasoning and then a sauce on top, so the seasoning matters. We'll get a nice coating of olive oil on there, and then we're going to come in with some baking powder. So baking powder is going to help crisp up the wing inside the oven, because we're not going to deep fry these, but you're never going to know it's going to get that crispy. Then we're going to put some of my base seasoning, which is a blend of garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. There's a link to the video recipe in the description and shout out to the best lemon pepper seasoning in the game mrs dash just ran through that whole bottle if anybody from mrs dash is watching hit me up with a sponsorship now we're going to put some smoked paprika for a little color and some smoky flavor and now we're going to just get in there with our hands and keep mixing until these wings are well coated with the oil and all that spice mixture on my chicken thigh video, there are a lot of haters in the comment section telling me that you have to pre-mix the spices. No, you don't. You can just mix it well with them all on there. So now we're going to get a baking sheet. We're going to line it with aluminum foil, save on cleanup, and we're going to put a raised baking grate on there. The raised baking grate is going to allow air to get underneath so these wings don't get soggy. And I'm going to spread these out in this baking sheet as much as possible. This is probably at the limit. So now this is going to go in my oven with the convection setting on. And we're going to start at a lower temperature. We're going to start at about 375 for the first round in the oven. While that's going, let's make our sauce. So the base of most buffalo wing sauces is some butter and some Frank's Red Hot, and that's your traditional buffalo flavor. And in addition to that traditional buffalo flavor, we're gonna add some of these lemon pepper flavors. We're gonna start off with juicing a whole lemon in there, and this was the biggest lemon that I've ever seen. It's It was so big, it was hard for me to even get it inside the citrus squeezer, let alone squeeze it. But I did the best I could and I got the job done. Now we're gonna add a little honey for some sweetness. And we're gonna begin to season with a little bit more of that lemon pepper seasoning. I'm telling you, people from Mrs. Dash, if you're watching this video, sponsor me, I love your stuff. And now we're gonna give that a little bit of a mix. And I think that it's just a little light on pepper. So we're gonna add just a little bit more pepper and give that a mix. And once that's all done, we're gonna set that aside. So once these wings have had their first round in the oven for about 20 minutes, I'm gonna flip them over and I'm gonna raise the temperature in the oven to about 400 degrees. So we're gonna flip each one and now some of the fat has rendered down onto the bottom and we've exposed the chicken skin with the rendered fat on top of it. And that's just a recipe for crispiness. While that's in the oven, now let's make our dipping sauce. And just like I said in the intro, this is a little bit lighter, so we're using a base of some Greek yogurt and some light sour cream. And that's gonna give us the base for our sauce. We're gonna season again with a little bit of my base seasoning. And just like I said before, this is a blend of garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. The exact ratios are in the recipe video. You can find that in directions. Here's another wonderful seasoning that I like. So this is the Really Ranch from the people at Spiceology. This is the best powdered ranch seasoning I've ever had. And now we're going to put some Dijon mustard in there. A little white vinegar for some acidity. And a little bit of salt. Really bring out the flavor of the sauce. And now we're gonna add some crumbled blue cheese. You know, the big debate in the wing world is ranch or blue cheese. I think they're both fantastic, so I love making this ranchy blue cheese. I have a lot of different versions of this. This is probably the lightest one. And if it looks like it's a little bit thick and it needs to get loosened up, we'll just add a touch of olive oil and a little bit more vinegar. Give that a taste. 
Perfecto. So now the wings have gone in there twice. We're gonna keep the temperature the same. We're just gonna give them one more flip. So now we're back up to the original side and we just use this flip method to keep rendering the chicken fat onto the skin and then exposing the skin with the rendered chicken fat on the top to let the heat and the convection setting on the oven get that nice crisp. And after another 10, 15 more minutes in the oven, look how crispy these look. You're gonna let these cool on the baking sheet for just a little before we add them into the bowl. And we're gonna put them in there. Now we're gonna squeeze our sauce on there for a little squeeze bottle just to make it easier. Give them a nice light toss. And now let's plate them. So a little bit of our ranchy blue cheese, a little sprinkle on chives on top to really pop, make that thumbnail. And now we're gonna dress our plate with our wings. And now we're gonna garnish with a little bit of parsley. Always sprinkling green stuff to make stuff look pretty. And a little bit of lemon zest to really bring out that lemon flavor. And as you're using a zester to zest lemon, make sure that you're constantly spinning the lemon and keep working new spots. There's only so much yellow zest that you're gonna get out of each spot. Anything underneath is gonna be a little bitter. So constantly spin the lemon, find those spots, and just keep working the lemon. And now how amazing do these wings look? Whether it's the big game or a Tuesday night, you're in for a treat. I'm really excited to try these wings. The last time I did a wing episode, uh, I did a flat first, so we're gonna go drumstick on this one. So, I mean, you can see even in the oven, these came out super crispy because of that baking powder and that flip method. But looks are deceiving. Let's make sure that they pass the taste test. Wow. Mm. I'm alone. I'm double dipping. I don't care. Mm. That is a tasty wing. I mean, it has that flavor profile, the lemon pepper. It's also got a little bit of that heat of that traditional buffalo. I mean, if we're going to be good wing scientists, let's check out a flat too. And all these flavors are coming through. I love this ranchy blue cheese sauce. Mm. Let's get that meat, I'll push that down, make that wing umbrella. And now we'll one bite this. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Well, I'm Chef Ange. These are my lemon pepper wet wings. These wings are unbelievable. Uh, you try them out yourself. Let me know in the comment section how they come out. Uh, if you did like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.